Hey creative people and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you one effect to change your colors, which is not only super easy to use, but also super customizable. As with all of my tutorials, I have a difficulty rating and this effect should be pretty easy to understand and you really don't need to know that much about Photoshop to use it. So I'm going to rate this tutorial one out of five on the difficulty scale. It should be a super easy beginner tutorial, but let's get into it. There are numerous effects in Photoshop which can change your colors based on luminance values. The luminance is basically the brightness of your image. Imagine a black to white scale and things on the lower end of the scale, the shadows, will have a different luminance value to stuff on the lighter end of the scale because they'll be brighter. And when I say you can change the color of things depending on the luminance values, I mean that you can change the color of darker areas differently to how you change the color of lighter areas. There are many effects in Photoshop which can let you do this. Levels histogram, curves, and a really easy one to use is color balance as well. But today we're going to be using one which is both super easy to use and to understand, but also really customizable. So let's get into it. This effect is called the gradient map effect, and you can apply it as either an adjustment or as an adjustment layer. Applying it as an adjustment will apply it destructively, meaning it will be baked into our image and you won't be able to ever undo it. That's why it's normally best to do this as an adjustment layer. Just in case you did want to add it as an adjustment, you can go to image, adjustments, and then choose gradient map. However, you can apply it as an adjustment layer to get, to get a non-destructive workflow. So just click on the new adjustment layer button here in the layer panel. It should be this half tone circle, and then just click on gradient map. This will create a new layer for us, and any layers below this, for example, our background image, will be affected by this adjustment layer. By default, as you can see, it kind of has this effect where it's turned our image black and white. You can click on the eye to show and hide this effect in action. However, your effect may look a little bit different depending on the background colors because it'll use these colors to determine what the gradient is. Why has it turned this black and white? Well, let me explain. Make sure you have this properties window open here. It should open by default once you add the adjustment layer, but if not, just click on the properties icon there. Now look at this gradient here. A gradient is like a transition between colors. And here we can see we've got black and white, and it simply transitions between the two. The way that this gradient is then applied onto our video is simple, using the luminance values. If you can imagine each of the luminance values of our original clip, then just being transformed into these colors. So for example, at the very left here, we have our blacks, and everything that was really dark before becomes this black. Everything that was really white before becomes this white, and everything in the middle, no matter how colorful it was, just becomes this shade of gray. And every individual pixel is measured basically for its luminous value, and then chucked onto a certain area in here where its luminous value fits, and then it's made that gray color depending on its luminance value. So that's why it's turned this image black and white, because everything that once was black was now black, everything that once was white is now white, and everything that was once colorful is now gray. But if we just click reverse, for example, we can see it's kind of done this inverted black and white effect. Everything that was white has now become black, and everything that was black has now become white, as you can see from this reversal of the gradient here. I'm hoping you're starting to see where this effect goes, because we can use any value along here to change the color. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. I'm first gonna show you how to adjust the gradient, and then once we've finished editing the gradient, I'll then show you how to apply this effect properly to your clip. So let's go ahead and first look at how to adjust the gradient. I'm just going to uncheck reverse, and I'm just going to open up my gradient editor just by clicking on the gradient. By default, as you can see, it creates a gradient from the foreground color to the background color. In this case, from white to black, or black to white, depending on which way you want to look at it. There are a bunch of presets available here, as I will show you, but first I'm just gonna teach you the basics about this little editing section here. We have two stops at the moment, two color stops. We have this black and this white. To adjust the color of any color stop, you can click on the bottom of the color stop, and then click on the color option here and change the color. For example, I might change my background color here to be some kind of blue, for example, and I'll hit OK. The great thing about this is that it does adjust live preview, so you can see your colors and your gradient being edited as you're editing the gradient here. Then you can go ahead and, for example, change the white as well. So I might change this to be some kind of green, just for purposes of this tutorial. You can move these color stops around by just clicking and dragging on the bottom of them, like so. You'll notice that these opacity stops 
uh, don't move with them. It's just the color stops that move. So I'm going to move this back for now. And you can see that you can also have this midpoint here. Between any two color stops, there'll be this little dot in the middle. If we adjust this dot, you can see that we get more of green or more of blue. This is just the midpoint between where the two colors are half mixed. And you can change it along this spectrum to get more of one color or the other. To add a new color, you can just click anywhere on the gradient and it will add a new color stop for you. And you can do the same adjustments as you did before. And of course, you can just drag it out or you can click on it and select delete if you want to delete it. I may have mentioned this earlier, but of course there are a ton of presets up here. Violet orange, yellow, violet, orange, blue. This really nice chrome one, but again, some like this chrome one are designed more for the gradient tool itself and not for this gradient map effect. So you can create your own custom one like so. Here I've created a gradient which has this teal blue color to this orange and it's got the midpoint slightly more towards the left. I'm done with my gradient so I'm just going to hit OK and now we're going to learn how to properly apply this to our image because it looks pretty drastic from the original. You could always just adjust the opacity like so except it doesn't really work the best. The best thing to do is to go into the blend mode here by default it's normal but you can adjust the blend mode of the adjustment layer to something like color for example and then it will just adjust the colors of the background layer at 100 percent it will make sure that all the colors change to be just the colors of this layer however if you adjust the normal opacity or the fill opacity then you can have a more subtle effect as you can see if we just hide the adjustment layer and show it again we have just made a subtle change adjusting the colors here where all of the trees area and the shadowy stuff is really blue now but all of these highlights and these lighter areas have become warmer and more sunset vibey. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it will help other people find it. Of course, you can share it with them directly as well. You can always subscribe for more Photoshop and other editing tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.